Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be making fresh homemade marshmallows and if you have never made your own marshmallows before, change your life. Change your marshmallow eating life, trust me. Store-bought marshmallows, they absolutely have their place in the world. They're great for long life and all that kind of stuff but against a fresh marshmallow they just do not compare. There is no competition. They don't compare. Fresh marshmallows are so good. You can control the sweetness, the flavors you want to put in them, the size, the shape, you name it. Full control and I like having control. So <laughs> today what you're going to need to make these if you are looking at making your own marshmallows, um, you are going to need a digital sugar thermometer because we're going to be making a sugar syrup and it needs to reach 121 degrees so you will need a sugar thermometer for that. You'll also need a set of scales and a stand mixer. You could probably do this with a hand mixer but I recommend using a stand mixer. So first and foremost before anything else you need to get your tray ready. So. This is making about an inch high of marshmallow that you can cut about six to nine marshmallows out of, depending on how big you're going to cut them. So adjust the recipe if you want to make more, but this for me is perfect for my uses. Additionally, you will also need to have some icing mixture. So icing mixture is a product that contains icing sugar and tapioca starch or corn flour. You don't want to be using the pure icing sugar because that's just going to dissolve and make your marshmallows really sticky and nasty. So the starch component in the mixture will actually help keep them dry on the outside and last longer in your storage solutions. And these are the ingredients. First there's two portions of 34 grams of water. One of them is going to be to bloom the powdered gelatin and the other one is going to be a component in making a sugar syrup. So 34 grams for both of those. Then there's 7 grams of powdered gelatin, 47 grams of granulated white sugar and I've also put about a tablespoon of vanilla paste in there as well just to give nice little speckling through the marshmallow and extra flavor. 89 grams of glucose sugar. You can use corn syrup, but we don't use that here in Australia. So um, either of those is fine. And the powdered icing sugar for dusting the marshmallows. First thing we need to do is hydrate all the gelatin in one of the portions of water at least 10 minutes before starting to ensure that it's had enough time to be completely hydrated. Set a pot over a scale and make sure that it's at zero before you weigh your glucose in. It's easier to just weigh it straight into your pot rather than moving it from bowl to bowl. And then into the glucose we just need to add the water and the sugar and vanilla bean. Now we just need to take this over to a heat with a sugar thermometer inside and bring it up to 121 degrees Celsius. Cook your syrup over a high heat. You want to make sure that you have your stand mixer with a whisk attachment fitted prior to starting this as it will move very fast. When the syrup has reached 121 degrees Celsius, pour it directly into the bowl of your stand mixer. Add in your bloomed gelatin and mix on low speed until it's completely dissolved. Turn up to high and whip until it's white, glossy and doubled in size. Okay, so you want to whip this until it holds a stiff peak, doubled in size and thick and white like this one is. So that's ready now. The marshmallow tends to set really quickly as soon as you take it off the stand mixer so transfer it to a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for 20 seconds just until it's soft enough to work again. 
Transfer that into your lined and dusted tray and smooth out before folding the paper over and pressing and smoothing until you make a really clean looking block shape. When the marshmallow is completely set, about 15 minutes or so, unwrap it and give it a generous dusting with icing mixture to make sure that it won't stick to the bench when you're trying to portion it. Set yourself up a little bowl with icing sugar in it so you can dust your marshmallows as soon as you've cut them. If you're cutting your marshmallow like I am, cut your block in half and then those halves in half again and then those bars in three pieces. Dust immediately with icing sugar. Okay guys, so that's it. That's how you make homemade marshmallows. A little bit of a process, but so worth it to know that you made them yourself. There's the little off cuts that I kept and just broke them down into a little fine dice that I can use in other things like mini marshmallows in cookies or on top of a cake or um, in a hot chocolate or something like that. So whatever you wanna do, you can also put these in a piping bag. And if you put it in a piping bag, just be sure you use a plastic piping tip because the marshmallow does set very fast. If you need to microwave it for 10 seconds or so, it needs to be a plastic piping tip so that you can do that. So be creative with it and enjoy. Thank you.